adequate test resources is backbone of every development success of an organization. Our strategic focus has been to ensure effective and efficient revenue collection so as to fund the budgetary requirements of the county. The county government of Laikipia has registered a tremendous growth in its own source revenue from below 500 million to over 800 million Kenya shillings. My name is Alice Kimemia. I am the current chair of the Laikipia County Revenue Board. I went through the process of becoming the chair in May 2021. The Revenue Board has been in existence in Laikipia County uh, since 2014, but I came on board with the current board in the um, beginning of 2018. Our responsibility, or rather our core mandate, has been basically to collect revenue, or rather to do, collect own sales revenue from Laikipia, management of it. We also have an advisory role to the county executive. My name is Prudence Waithera. I'm the CEO of Laikipia County Revenue Board. I joined the board in the year 2018 in September. Our target for last financial year that is the financial year 2020-2021, was to collect 1 billion. We have collected 840 million, which is 83% budget implementation. To note, this is the highest ever collected amount in Laikipia County. The revenue streams that have shown a remarkable improvement are single business permits, land rates, technical services, housing, and county natural resources. This performance has been attributed to proper mapping of the revenue uh, streams, high rate of compliance by the, rate pay by the taxpayers, embracing the use of technology or revenue monitoring through the installation of the CCTVs in key revenue, administra in revenue administration centers. We have uh, also to notice that we have not increased any fees and charges, but instead we have expanded the revenue base horizontally by ensuring that all the eligible revenue payers have complied. We have got a very vibrant uh, uh, staff because we were able to hire fresh people in uh, 2018 who are young, who understand the dynamics of the current uh, business environment and we are very confident uh, that they have given their best. They are very committed, they are a very dedicated team, and this explains why we have been able to grow our own source revenue. Uh, particularly in the last five years, we've actually moved from uh, 400 all the way to 815. In fact, this particular year, we have been able to increase by a whole 110 million, from 727 to 850 million. We have a very, very supportive executive, especially our governor. He gives us his, our, he gives us his back. And uh, every time we have got any issues, he's always ready to support us. And then we have got a very good uh, system where the other departments are able to come on board and work with us. Because as revenue board, we don't actually generate any revenue. What happens is that every department has got sources of revenue. For us, is to manage it and uh, bring it up together. So... We have been having a very healthy working relationship with the departments, and this has helped in the growth. Obviously, uh, the Laikipia taxpayers have been very cooperative in paying taxes, and we believe it's because of the work that they have seen, the translation of their revenue into development uh, projects. The other thing that we have done as a strategy, actually from the beginning of this year, is to involve the stakeholders we have uh, decided to engage the different stakeholders at different settings so that we have got like the people in the holiday or tourism industry, we meet them. The people in the land rates, we have got what we call the Sema Nasisi Kikao, we engage them. The corporates like say Nawasko, Nyahuasko and these other big uh, enterprises, the Kenya Railways, we've been working with them, collaborating with them, exchanging ideas and this we believe has brought us 
to where we are today. Uh, my name is uh, Murungi Dai. I'm the chief executive committee member in charge of um, finance, economic planning, uh, development, and also enterprise development uh, within the county government of Laikipia. And uh, it has been a journey towards this uh, success story of uh, us making sure that Section 107 of the Public Finance Management Act is actually adhered to and respected. Uh, more so specifically concerning the collection of revenue. 2017-2018, uh, what we did uh, when the governor and director Moravi got into this office, we dedicated our efforts to make sure that the fiscal responsibility is actually agreed and respected. And one of the facets of the items which were key is the revenue collection, our own source revenue. This means that uh, we had to make sure that we have proper revenue raising measures within a book called the Finance Act. This is an important document that we prepare as county executive and then it is approved by the county assembly. Uh, in 2017-2018 financial year, we were able to collect 608 million. The following year, 2020, 20, I mean 2019-2020, we were able to collect uh, 815 million. And then last year, we were able to collect 727 million. This year, we have hit the record going higher than any other year by collecting 840 million. Uh, year to year, we've been increasing by more than 34%. Save for last year, we are due to COVID, we, we, we went deep by more than 10%. This year, we were able to come up again stronger by more than 15%. So as like Ipia County government, we believe that it is not possible for us to continue uh, collecting all these revenues if we do not support the enterprises. Because these are the same enterprises that when we support them, they'll be able to pay. When they pay, we plow back this amount again to them, support them with infrastructure, water, and all those items that will unlock the economy, and then we get the money back. And when we support our enterprises, we are expecting a growth of not less than 20% in own source revenue by the 2022-2023. So there will be a consistent 20% growth, meaning by 2022-2023, revenues should be hitting well over 1.5 billion, which is possible completely. By next year, we believe revenues will be hitting more than 1.2 billion. This year, we have maintained a 1 billion. So we will hit 1 billion this year, and that is definite because we have put all the efforts, all the necessary, all the necessary energies have been geared towards hitting this 1 billion. And I believe this year we will hit it, and we will hit it early enough. Well, I just want to say thank you uh, to all of us in Laikipia for contributing to our own development. Uh, this year, we have paid uh, 840 million in taxes. This is uh, the highest amount that we have done. It is 15% a growth from last year, and it is certainly the highest amount uh, that we have paid in taxes. And it is really, really supremely important because it is by paying taxes that we are able to finance our own development. Um, and I just think it is an amazing thing. Uh, it's been a tough year um, recovering from closure of the economy because of COVID. Uh, and the closure was not just once, it was several times. Uh, so I want to say a really big thank you to all of us in Laikipia for doing our bit as individuals and as a society collectively. This is the money that is enabling us to um, accelerate our uh, rural roads program. As you know, uh, this last year, we have uh, graded and graveled uh, 1,200 uh, kilometers of road. And this year, we, this financial year, beginning this July, 
uh, we expect we will do perhaps closer uh, to 2,000 kilometers of graded and uh, graveled roads. Uh, this is what is enabling us to revamp our health services. Um, and you'll be seeing in the coming days a major expansion in the Lakipi Health Service, a repositioning, rebranding, and extending of the services that we have. This is what is enabling us uh, to support those families that are in a poor economic circumstance and are not able to afford uh, health care. Um, this is what is enabling us to continue with our economic stimulus program. As you know, between ourselves and several leading banks, we have an ongoing program, 3.3 uh, billion shillings in subsidized, if I can use that terminology, in um, interest sharing uh, to support our small businesses uh, so that we, uh, we they stay afloat and they expand and they're able to um, um, uh, keep open and keep jobs uh, going. This is what is enabling us, as you know, uh, to look to extending that program of, of supporting businesses into manufacturing and irrigation rooms so that as a farmer, if you want to irrigate uh, a bit of your land, we want to make it possible by providing you with uh, uh, credit that is affordable because we are sharing uh, the interest costs with you. Uh, so it is absolutely amazing uh, that we as Lycopians are stepping forward. Uh, and this is what is required of each and every one of us. Uh, and I want to thank every individual taxpayer uh, for the work that we're doing. Okay, going forward uh, uh, from this year, we want to, uh, to strengthen our collaborations with the stakeholders. We also want to make revenue administration much more easier, friendlier, because we are encouraging the taxpayers to come up and uh, meet with us and have conversations with them. And then also, we are going to use uh, um, technology in a big way so that in Laikipia, we can reach a point whereby you can pay all your taxes, develop, even, even generate your in invoices and be able to pay from the comfort of your home. Of course, already we are cashless and we are also digitalizing our systems. Thank you very much. I wish to thank all our taxpayers for paying taxes. We will continue to offer excellent services. You can communicate to us through our various communication channels. And our account ward offices are in every ward and at Uduma Center in Nanyuki. Tulipe ushuru, tujenge la kipia yetu, pamoja, asanteni. The best county with the highest life expectancy. Yeah. Ah, Niki Chapa Kazina Lipa Shuru. Ah, Niki Shua Pesa Yangu Yajenga Kwetu. Ah, Niki Pia County Revenue Board Wanipa Uhuru. Ah, Rumu Kuti Smart Town. Yeah, all of the roads in Anyuki are made.